hi and welcome to my channel it's me Tina today I am here to show you some um, things that I made with the products that uh, globe land sent me to try so here is the whoops here is the first die cut that I'm going to show you and um, I tried to make several different um, things with it um, this is a very beautiful die and what I did was I took a black piece of paper and I folded it double like this and then that way I could do the mirror image and I did some ink blending on the back of this paper and just glued it on top and it made a beautiful um, uh, gatefold card so I really love this and um, these little die cuts here are from some of the cutouts of the um, the other die cuts so this was very simple to do and it turned out really beautiful um, I mean you could add little bling in the center of the little circles there but I just love the way it turned out like this this is kind of like my style that I go for um, a little bling wouldn't hurt of course <laughs> and um, this was the original die cut that I had done and yeah you can see that I cut it this way like I folded it in half and then this is the mirror image so I think they turned out really really nice this die cut I really love it it cut like butter then my next one here is this one and I have misplaced my die cut here of course but anyway um, this is the I made like an envelope here um, this is the front of it like this and um, I figured you could make like a wedding invitation uh, with this as a um, envelope because it doesn't cut the bottom you can leave it as long as you want it just cuts this part and then I just put some black cardstock behind it and I just think that turned out really really well so that is that part of the the card that or the uh, envelope then I made the invitation here that you could use and I somehow have misplaced the die cut I don't know where I left it um let me see okay we'll wait with this I'll show you that one after I find it then I have um this rose here that I turned also into a pocket um it cut beautifully um I turned it um I turned it the other way so it would have cut um, from this way no this way like that and it cuts this line here and then um, it leaves you with um, you know however long you want to make it down here so this turned out beautiful I made it into a pocket so again you could put use it for journaling or you could make a card with it um, for me I'm a I'm a journal maker so um, I like to make pockets so I'll put that one there then this was uh, another die cut here this was a little bit flimsy paper that I used and this is the this is the die cut and then this is the card that I made now you could turn this into a birthday card or a wedding invitation or any kind of uh, summer invitation really because it is absolutely gorgeous and it cut beautifully 
it's gorgeous I don't know if you can see that but it is beautiful beautiful I love all these die cuts and they cut so nicely I am very very impressed by the way they cut and again this is the die cut and I cut it like this so it leaves you this long piece however long you want it you can this was just a card that I had and I die cut into it and uh, yeah so you could make this into a pocket too. just line the back if you wanted and that is that die cut I love that one also and then I have a couple of little cards here that I made with this die cut it has a little butterfly um, yeah it turned out they turned out really beautiful I added uh, the gold here so that it would stand out and uh, yeah so I could make it into a card you can add your sentiments or use it as a journaling page in a journal and here is the one in green and I didn't round the corners here but you could round the corners and make that into a little party invitation if you like and again this is one that cuts like this and then you can leave this as long as you like because it doesn't cut here so that is that one and global land is really good they have all their information on their die cuts how uh, large they are they have they leave everything on their website um, it's really easy to navigate and I will leave all the, that information on the bottom so you can check that out now this is another uh, very intricate die with all the little details the flowers and this one I just wanted to uh, keep for a um, journal uh, tuck spot so that I could tuck something in behind here in a journal. And this one I did on pattern paper. So yeah, I want to do the same thing with that one. And again, it just cut like butter. And also you could turn this into a card edge uh, edge punch here like that and it would be beautiful on a card if you just wanted to like put it on the edge of a card it would be gorgeous so that is that one and then I have this one like I said I did it on very flimsy paper which was my mistake so that is that one but here you can see um, the way this card looks and let me get some colored paper behind there like this one and you can see how intricate it is and just how detailed it cuts it's just beautiful these would make gorgeous gorgeous wedding invitations and anniversary cards and happy like birthday cards just beautiful and yeah I really really like that and uh, the prices are very very uh, generous I think oh here's this die cut so this is the one that I used for for here and the stitching on it is just absolutely gorgeous look at that stitching on there like it is so so pretty I just thought it would make like a beautiful Christmas card or any kind of a card that you need and you could just um, slip it oops slip it in here and make this part longer and this part longer or make it close back and forth but I just I'm just going to leave it like this and put it in my in a Christmas journal I think this will be gorgeous so there's that one 
And then I had, did another one here with, with this die cut, um, just on white cardstock. So you can see how beautiful that is. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And again, this one is made with this die cut. I just thought it was perfect for an envelope. And then I just added the little cut right there, the little slit. So that is those two. Then I think my favorite one is this one. Actually, they're all my favorite. Um, it is very simple. Um, these little flowers, they all um, lift up like this, you can see. And then I just put some uh, gold cardstock in behind there. And they just turned out gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that. My lighting is terrible. But that is gorgeous. I love it. And it, it, it was so simple to do. I just added these little gems here in the center and it was done. And this is going to be a beautiful pocket in a journal. Um, I love this. I can see myself using this a lot. And then, um, I have some of these, um, let me put this down here. See if that helps. These are, uh, rose die cuts. And so when you first cut it out, this is what you get. This is what you get and I did some paper piecing on it at first it was a little daunting but um, I got right into it and I made this one and I uh, all I did was um, I put some red backing on the rose and I did some pink ones and I did a little bit of green for the for the leaves and then I just put uh, like a yellowish green background on the back and I think this looks really good I think this kind of looks like stained glass uh, stained glass uh, window you know and then um, this is the next one and I really love these um, I don't think I have one of what it looked like no I don't um, I just have one that I paper piece but this is the same idea I added to the back, I added uh, the pink and green and yellow, and then there's a little bit of like um, uh, cream color, and then I added the lighter green to the background, just the whole piece, and it just really turned out beautifully. And I hope you can see that. I really, really love these. And these round ones all came in a set. They are very, very well priced, I must say. And then this one was so beautiful. Um, it had these little um, bell flowers. I call them bell flowers and these leaves. And I'm just like, I have to do something uh, with these. So um, I cut out or I did the, the back I did with. Uh, paper piecing the green leaves and then um, I colored the stems with just a uh, black pen uh, black ink pen and then I used my white marker to ballpoint mar or ballpoint pen to uh, paint these uh, little bell flowers there. I thought they just turned out really beautiful. And then I used um, the blue, um, um, what do you call it, sparkle paper for the back. And it turned out really beautiful. And then I have uh, this one, this die cut. And it cuts out like this. So then what I did was I added the purple flowers. And I added green for the leaves. And then this is what I got. And I really, really like this. I think it turned out really beautiful again. 
and this up against a, a beautiful card would be really gorgeous. I didn't finish these completely because um, I didn't uh, know exactly where I was going to put these, but I just figured I would show you how you can change them from just having them be cards um, that they can also be worked into uh, like mixed media or um, um, into a journal or whatever you like. I'm still trying to figure out my camera here where, <laughs> where to put it. So that is that one. And then I have this little one here. And you wouldn't believe how cute these turned out. Um, this is one of them. So I would have cut it out this way. Uh, I cut it out in green. Actually, I cut it out in pink, green, red, and blue. And then um, I did two green. Or, yeah, two green. And then I just kind of cut the flowers off and put them where I would like them to go. So I thought they turned out really cute. And you could make a frame with them or just at the corner of a page like this. You could put them like that or whatever you like. That is your choice. I really want to thank Globeland for sending me all these dies for me to try them out. I really enjoyed unpacking them. Um, I will put down um, in the description box me unpacking these. And um, I'm going to be using these in my uh, crafting. So I will link them every time. And uh, go and check out Globeland. Their prices are amazing. Um... They just have a lot of stuff. They have more than just uh, die cuts. They have all kinds of stuff. So go check them out. I will leave their link down below. And uh, yeah, go have yourself a little shop. I had a blast. So thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. God bless.